Okay, so now I want to talk about how to make your own wavetables. So as you see here, um, Audio Term is a group that has made an interface to make your own wavetables. It doesn't look great. It actually looks like something from like DOS from like 20 years ago. But it will help you make your own wavetables. So if we look here, like you can find it here by searching Audio Term. I think there's a download from their Facebook page. I'll try to leave a link at the bottom in the description. But once you get it downloaded and everything, first thing you have to do is get a WAV file. It can be you speaking or perhaps comes from another synth, etc. But any WAV file, make sure it's trimmed so there's not a big gap at the beginning or the end because that's going to you know, mess up your looping and everything. But once you've done all that and edited it, go into data, go into samples, and add it in here. I'm not sure if you can actually hear this or not, but hopefully you can. So here's one I made for me, myself, Chandler Guitar. Chandler Guitar. So that's just me speaking. It took, you know, like five seconds to make. I'll go back here. Now we're going to open Audio Term EXE. So go in here, wait for it to start. Now what I want to do is go into K Term, click here. Now what I want to do is click on the disc. And now you see Chandler Guitar file here. Ch Chandler Guitar. And what we want to do from there is click, uh, is it File, I believe? Chandler Guitar. No, I'm sorry, Load. Click Load. Now we want to analyze it. Click Analyze. Now, resynthesize it. Chandler Guitar. Chandler Guitar. So if you can actually hear this, you know it sounds like a, a robot speaking. So we click Apply. That's our wavetable right there. You can hear it again by pressing this. Chandler Guitar. So this is pretty much what we want. Go into disk. Now this time, this confused me a bunch of times. Click F type. This is file type. Now it's currently on samples, but don't click that. You want number 10. This one's like SERM and uh, another type of wave file. So I'll click number 10 there. And now you see save at the bottom. Save it. And put in uh, a name. Let me just put in... Unfortunately, you can't use long file names. You can only use eight characters for some reason. I, I don't know what the deal is, but that's not really a big deal as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there. And now you see it's saved here as Chandler Guitar. If you play it... Chandler Guitar. Chandler Guitar. Wow. There you go. So now we can close this. Go back into data. And we go into number 10, wavetables for Serum wave file. And we see it here. Now what we have to do is... Go to wherever you keep your waveforms for SynthMaster 1. So you see here it's in Document SynthMaster 1 waveforms. I'll just put it in, I guess, Spectral Growl wavetables. Move this here. Now when you open SynthMaster 1, it should show up. Now we're back with SynthMaster 1. If we go to the oscillator here, look down here. I don't know, it seemed like it made an extra set, uh, extra folder here, but see Chandler Guitar here. Let me attach this to my mod wheel like that, and you can see it's scanning through it, and now let's listen. Chandler Guitar, Chandler Guitar, Chandler Guitar. Okay, I can't, I can't sweep through there smoothly enough, so let's attach it to an LFO. So there we go. Uh, let me try a different one. Let's try a sawtooth. And now let's see how it works. And look at some, 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 and look at some. Okay, so not perfect, but I think not too bad. I probably should have raised the volume of this also. So that's one thing you can do. But I think this is really cool. It doesn't sound perfectly like my voice, but there are some cool things you can do with this that you couldn't do with, let's say, a sampler. So one thing with the sampler is when you use a sampler, every time you hit a new key, it restarts the wave. But with this, it doesn't necessarily do it. So let me see if I can add it in here and show you. Let 
That's really too high. Let me try here. Let's try it with some glide. And you can mess with the speed or whatever like this. I'm hearing like some popping there. That's because of the sawtooth sawtooth waveform. If I had something that was a little bit less jagged, if I rounded the edges of the sawtooth, it probably wouldn't do that. Um, I don't know. I don't know where that kind of rounded sawtooth is in here, and I don't really feel like finding it. But if you want to know how to do it, use that. Use a rounded sawtooth waveform as opposed to a normal sawtooth. If I do the other ones like sign, it'll start playing backwards too, which is fun too. That's fun, but uh, <laughs> we don't really need that. Let's try something a little bit different. Another cool thing you can do is... You can FM this sound, so let's try this. And I have this sub oscillator. But I don't really need that. Let's try phase modulation. Now let's try moving it an octave down. Come on. I'm trying to get exactly where I want it. So that's really cool, and I can even go farther than that. I can put some unison on there, like this, detune it a bit, set it free. Okay, I'm sorry for messing around so much, but I'm just showing you a few things that you can do with this. So, like, the sky's the limit with this. I didn't even mess with the filter or any of the effects. There's all sorts of cool things you can do with this. So, fr feel free to experiment. Uh, that's so far the easiest way I've found to get wavetables into this. With Synth Master 3, there'll be an actual editor that will probably be, hopefully it'll look better than the Audio Term software, and hopefully it'll be easier. I think the Audio Term software also only uses like 33 slices, so the resolution isn't as good as it could be, but hopefully with Synth Master 3, there'll be something that will give you or give us better resolution. But until then, hopefully this works for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Until next time, see you.